This is Mason. You are 16 years old, right? Yeah, I got my driver's license a couple days ago, a week ago. And you're driving my old rare Ferrari that there are no parts for. Speed doesn't matter. I don't care about that. Down, 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 down. Sorry, sorry. That's 5,000 RPMs. Oh, That's okay. 2,000 RPMs. That's my bad. That's okay. Oh, oh okay. That's my fault. Remember how I was saying that this time I want you to be a, more, a little more chill? It's a weird angle, isn't it? Yeah, I, think like I, a, I was just being a little awkward about it. I think. Yeah, that's okay. You're, I mean, you're, you're in high school. Everybody's awkward. I mean, look at your haircut. You missed my perfectly good dad jokes. I did. Very disappointing. I don't really drive this thing in stop and go traffic, so I just wanted to make sure that it would be, uh, be okay. I wonder if that cop thinks I was revving the engine him on purpose. I was just down to them. So you ever seen a radio with a tape deck and knobs? I definitely have not. It's got a liquid crystal display. Good. Now let's let's turn. Keep this speed right here. This is great. Keep going. Stop. Oh, you did a good job. The moral of this story is uh, everyone's parents should buy their kid a vintage Ferrari as their first manual transmission car. Definitely. There is the Ferrari Mondial, and I'm a man of my word, and that is why, boom! What's up, dude? What's up? This is Mason. You are 16 years old, right? Yeah, I got my driver's license a couple days ago, a week ago. <laughs> How long have you actually been driving a motor vehicle on the street? Uh, well, six months now, about. Okay, so that's that's enough. Yeah, I'd say so. Okay, what kind of wild machine have you driven so far? Uh, just a 04 Accord. So okay, pretty, not a Accord. Pretty standard. Solid. Automatic. Yep. You've never attempted driving a manual transmission yet? Never. How do you feel about attempting it with this old thing? It's a little intimidating, but I'm excited. Okay. Well, I think we'll do all right. It's not bad. So why don't we just have at it? Let's do it. Obviously, Mason is here. Uh, he's kind enough to reach out with an email. It's very nice. And I said, uh, thank you for writing. If you'd be so kind, have your father call me at this number to discuss. So Mason, his dad came out last week. We talked it over and everything going on. So for all you wondering, yes, his dad knows and totally approves. <laughs> so anyway, so uh, you ready to think about this? I'm ready. First question. Do you know how a manual transmission car works in concept? The very basics, but not necessarily, no. Okay, I'm going to start with really dumb questions. Okay. Do you know what this does? This turns the wheels. Okay, cool. So you're familiar with that? Yeah. Okay, we got one thing down. Do you know what the pedal on the right does? It's the accelerator. No. We're going to make you smarter. If it's not the accelerator, what does it do? Uh, makes the car go forward. <laughs> nope. That's what it does in your car. Okay. But what is it actually doing? It's actually... I won't ask you any existential questions for another five minutes. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll help you out. Uh, yeah. That controls the throttle on the engine. Okay. It allows the engine to bring in more air and more fuel and make bigger bangs to make more power. Okay. But the reason I said it doesn't make the car go is unless you have connected the engine to the rear wheels by selecting gear and letting out the clutch, it can't make the car go. True. It makes more power. Okay. Effectively. What's the pedal in the middle do? Well, in the middle is the brake. Yeah, that does the same thing as everything. It's the brakes. Okay, you, you, and you've used a brake before, right? I have used okay. it before. <laughs> he hates me and all of this. What's the one on the left do? It's a clutch. What do you think that does? Uh, use it to change gears. Yeah, but like, what does it do? It... We talked about this on the drive over. Um, it... Doesn't it take apart... Not take apart, but... You're, you're getting there. Deta it allows you to switch gears by... What, how about the word disconnect? Disconnect. Yeah, I think that's a better word. What is a disconnect? It disconnects the gears from each other, right? Nope. What's the thing that helps make the car move down the road? Um, he hates me. What do you mean? <laughs> What's the thing in the car that makes the vroom vroom noises? The engine. Yes. There we go. So now what do you think the clutch does? It disconnects the engine so that you're able to change gears. Yes, but disconnects the engine from what, specifically? So, you got the engine. Okay. And the engine spins the crankshaft. Okay. And that is connected to the transmission where the gears are via the clutch. Okay. And when you push in the pedal, it disconnects the engine to the transmission. It can no longer transmit torque and power and the spinning. Okay. See? Yeah. Now, it's not an on or off switch. You can slip it. Kind of like the brakes, you know? You can push a little gently and it brings it in. I mean, if mm -hmm. brakes were on and off, you just lock up your tires instantly, right? Yeah. So the clutch works in a similar sort of way, but 
when we are driving, we do want the clutch totally rigidly, tightly connected from one or the other. So does that make sense? Yeah. The difference being when you push in the clutch pedal, you are disconnecting the engine from the transmission. That allows you to change gears up or down. And that's what you do when you're either, that's what you do when you're coming to a stop because you have to disconnect the motor from the wheels and the transmission. Because if you come to a stop and you're in a gear, the engine will die because the engine is connected to the wheels, which are no longer spinning. And therefore it cannot spin unless you push in the clutch or it's in neutral. Okay. But I kind of want to use that for a second. Mm -hmm. Now, when it's in neutral, you can let the car run with the clutch out and the engine is connected to the transmission. But neutral means it's not in a gear. No gears are engaged. So therefore there is no mechanical connection from the wheels in the drivetrain to the transmission to, to the, the engine. engine. And that's why you can let it run with the clutch out and it in neutral. But you, you know, you, you can't let the car run with it in a gear because it'll either stall it and die or the car will just motor around on its own. So like if you left it in first gear and the car was just idling around at 10 miles an hour and we just jumped out, the car would just go until it crashes into something. Yeah. You know what I mean? So let's not do that. A couple of things here. You can see on, first of all, it's a gated manual Ferrari, which is cool. Mm -hmm. And the purpose in vintage Ferraris is unlike the purpose today. So like my Lamborghini Gallardo doesn't actually need a gate. Yeah. It, it's mostly just cosmetic. But in an older car like this, this is actually very important and it works. You have to precisely adjust it with the transmission because that's what lets you put it into the proper gear so it doesn't try to go into two gears at once. Mm -hmm. It's neither here nor there, but it does make it visually very easy for you to see what's going on. Now, you can see ours reverse, one, two, three, four, five. Now, you're starting off driving in a weird car because the gears are in different locations than basically every other car on the planet. Sir, you're welcome. I'm already ruining this for you. Good to know. Yeah. So right now it's in first gear, okay? Mm -hmm. And then second gear is up here. You're, you're basically always shifting forward and over and then straight back into third, forward Turn and up. over to fourth and then to fifth. And reverse is forwards, but to select reverse, you have to physically push down on the, I'll pop it out of gear. Push okay. the brake pedal if you want to work. We're rolling. There you go. I can't just push it in reverse. You see that? Mm -hmm. There's actually a lock. So I push straight down and then it'll allow me to click reverse. Okay. So what I'd like you to do is this. Now it's not running. So in some ways it won't want to go into gear perfectly, but what I'd like you to do is hold the brake pedal with your right foot. Okay. You'll obviously operate the brake pedal on the gas with your right foot and push in the clutch all the way with your left foot. Just push it in all the way. Now, are you able to push it all the way to the floor with where the seat is adjusted right I now? I might have to pull up the seat a little bit. Why don't we go ahead and adjust it for you first? And let's, let's do that. There's a, there's a lever here that you can pull and that'll allow you to slide forwards or backwards. Okay. Yeah, you got it. Go ahead and pull that up. It sort of twists. You got it? There you yep. go. Okay. okay. Put it where you see fit. You need to be able to work the clutch pedal. You think that'll work? Yeah, it should be good. Put your right leg closer to the pedals and then how about this? Can you put the seat up or anything? Yeah, it should be good. I can reach it. Okay, for sure. You got yeah. enough leverage to do what you need. I don't, this doesn't have power steering, so it'll be okay. different. You'll have to put some of your rowing muscles on it. <laughs> you know. Okay. Yeah, cool. I should be good. So you're in control here. I cannot do anything at all. Yep. And you're driving my old rare Ferrari that there are no parts for, and I don't want to have to fix. It's not to intimidate you. That just means I want you to have the presence of mind. Mm -hmm. First of all, be looking at your surroundings. Yep. You, you got a lot going on, but I'm going to condense it for you. And um, when in doubt, I'll tell you this. As long as you can steer the car and you know where the brake pedal is, we'll be fine. Okay. So if something's going wrong and your brain just totally goes full lizard brain, you don't remember anything, and we have to stop or not hit something. I'm pretty sure you know how to steer around an immovable object, right? Yep. Okay. And I'm pretty sure you can just jam on the brake pedal if everything goes to pot, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. If everything goes to pot, that's just bad. Just stop. I don't care if the engine stalls. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, when in doubt, let's just be smart and safe. And I think it'll go fine. But does that make sense? Yep. One thing we're going to do to make the car's life a little bit easier, you're going to push the clutch in all the way. It'll make it easier for the starter motor to turn over the engine. So, there's your key. You'll use the big one. You can uh, let the clutch out. You see it's in control. Okay. Now, uh, yeah, we're good. So I'll watch the gauges, make sure it should be fine. It should cool, fine oil pressure. So don't you worry about that. Okay. Speed doesn't matter. I don't care about that. I'll watch this stuff. The only one that'll matter a little bit to you is the tachometer. That's how fast the engine's spinning. Okay. okay. 
So I'm just gonna take that out of your mind and away from you. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're just going to get you actually moving and let you just kind of tool around the parking lot first just to gain a little confidence, right? Mm -hmm. So now before we do that, what I'd like you to do is actually pull the parking brake just so we don't roll anywhere. You don't have to pull like crazy, just, you know, firmly. There you go, don't push the button though. Oh, okay. Just pull it up. Okay, you can let off the brake and see if we move. Okay, we're fine. All right, brakes on, great. Now with your foot on the accelerator pedal, I'd like you to just rev it a couple of times to 2,000 RPMs, let it come back down. 2,000 RPMs, let it come down. Okay. Okay, try it. Yes, yes, it's okay. Let up all the way. Down, 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 down. Sorry, sorry. That's 5,000 RPMs. Oh, That's okay. 2,000 RPMs. That's my bad. That's okay. Okay. They're numbers. You've had like a class where they teach you numbers. Yeah, right? I was doing that earlier today. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's, let's try this. Let off all the way, let it idle. Hold it there. I'm trying. Good. Let off. Now this time I want you to hold it 2,000 RPMs again. Like go straight there, hold it there, and then let off. Hold it there for like three seconds. I want you to do the same thing, but this is 2,500 RPM. So halfway between two and three. Yep. And I know it says 30, but forget about that. The Italians are trying to be clever. They're not. He's concentrating so hard he didn't even get my perfectly good dad joke. It's hard, isn't it? It's hard. So I can tell you're minorly like, oh crap. Just a little. Yeah. Admit it, I saw the look in your face. And you missed my perfectly good dad jokes. I did. Very disappointing. So, relax for a second. Okay. Get your wits about you, look outside and whatnot, okay? Because I'm going to ask you to do the same kind of thing. And I don't want you to have so much target fixation on that that you lose sight of everything else. Okay. Now what's gonna happen is, when we actually start moving and the clutch is moving, typically the biggest mistake that most people do is they kind of freak out for a second and they just take their foot off the clutch. And then the car's like, ah, and they, then that's how it all goes to pot. Does that make sense? Yeah. So what we're gonna do to start moving is you're effectively gonna hold it at 2,000 RPMs. And okay. you're not gonna move your right foot. You're just gonna hold it 2,000 RPMs. You're not gonna give it more, you're not gonna just hold it right there, to the, not yet, but you will, Yeah. okay? And you're gonna slowly let out this foot until you feel the car start to move. And once it starts to move, don't just keep letting it out fast. Keep, hold it right, just kinda hold it there for a moment while the car starts to move, and then you're gonna let it out real slow, and it's gonna kinda build more speed while you're holding it 2,000 RPMs, and we'll get to a point that your foot will be totally off the thing, and, and then we will be driving. Okay. And then, now what you'll find is when we're driving in first gear, it's it'll be touching. So you have to hold the throttle in that spot basically and then easily roll on it and easily roll off. You just come whipping on and off like an automatic car. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then when we go to stop, you'll just gently let off and you'll push in the clutch and the brake at the same time and we'll stop. Does that make sense? Yep. So we're gonna get going now. So what I want you to do, put your right foot on the brake. Okay. That's your left foot. That is my left foot. Okay. We're good. So, you're holding the brake. You don't have to kill it. Now, yep. take the parking brake off, please. You remember how to do that. Yep. You have to pull up a little bit past where it was, push in the button, and then put it down. Great. There you are, good. Now, you're going to push the clutch in all the way. Okay. Like you to select first gear, which is to the left and back. Good. Now, you're in gear, so don't do anything crazy, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, we'll roll back a little bit, but that's okay. Don't worry about it. I want you to just bring your foot over and hold the gas at 2,000 RPMs. Okay. Right now. While the clutch is? While the clutch is in. Don't just let it out because we're now in gear. So just hold it there or just up a little bit. That's fine. Right there, right there. Now, uh, you need to look out while you're doing Just hold it there. I want you to very slowly let the clutch out. Okay. Hold the gas right there. Don't do anything. Slower. Slower. It's going to start moving now. Just keep going at that rate. Keep, keep going slowly with the clutch. Take your foot off the clutch. Take your foot off the clutch. Keep your foot on the gas. Take your foot the app off the clutch. Put your foot over to the left. We're driving. We are driving. Yay. Yes. Ah, you see what I mean about that? Yep. Okay, so now I know this sounds really botanic. I want you to just give it a little bit more gas and let's go a little faster. You can hold it, say 2,000 RPMs, okay. and drive around the parking lot. But 
don't go that way. Just avoid potholes and stuff. Okay? You can accelerate a little bit. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Now, all I want you to do is just to chill out and feel the car. I just want you to drive around the parking lot here. Okay. Maybe avoid going roads and curbs and stuff, but just drive around for a while. Turn left, turn right, go straight, you know, stuff like that, okay?
I should do that like two or three times. Okay. Maybe the red spot. Yeah, we'll go over the red spot. Yeah, let's just do that. Remember, you can... We're going pretty slow, so you're probably not going to need the brake much. So, you'll probably end up literally just pushing the clutch in all the way and then using the brake. And it'll coast with the okay. clutch in. So... Awesome. Alright, I'm not going to say anything. Push the clutch in, push the clutch in. Little past the you didn't rim. have your foot on the clutch, right? You're kind of off to the side. Yeah, I was that's okay. I caught my foot on. The... You're not used to using your left foot. It's dumb. Yeah. Right. Okay. Okay. Shall we try it again? Try it again. Let's do it a few times so you your foot remembers stuff. Okay. 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 So moral of this story is uh, everyone's parents should buy their kid a vintage Ferrari as their first manual transmission car. Definitely. Should be fun for five minutes until you have to fix it. <laughs> Just pushing the clutch now. Pushing the clutch, pushing the clutch, pushing the clutch. Left foot in. Now brake. Okay, cool. Okay. So think, we're going to need to do that a couple times to make you feel better at it. Yeah, I think brain, I just need to hover my foot over the clutch more. Yes, but without pushing it. We'll, we'll do that. You'll hover your foot over it. Okay. Just, I'll, I'll look and tell you if you're pushing it and you're being a no dumb. Okay, let's do that again, but this time I should be a little more chill with... Oh, oh okay. That's my fault. Remember how I was saying that this time I should be a little, a little more chill? Yep. Okay, so what did you do? <laughs> I put my... too much on the You were doing everything less chill yeah. than last time, right? Okay. So, you're getting like confident, but you want to go. I want you to go back to being a little slower when you take off. Does that make sense? Okay. And like bring it to hold it at two grand and then bring it out. And the reason I want you to do that is when you let it out real fast like that, your brain is not getting a feel for where the clutch engages. Mm -hmm. That's why I want you to do it a little slower to start with. So let's bring it up and stop. That's fine. Just don't run. Okay. Clutch in. You're missing the clutch. Pushing the clutch. Now bring it. I think I'm... That's okay. okay. Here's what we're going to do. The car's getting a little warm because we're not moving much. So put it in neutral, leave it running. Okay. I'm going to drive it for a minute and talk about it. Okay. And then we're going to put you back in after the car gets to cool down a little bit. All right. Does that sound good? Yep. Okay, go ahead and pull the parking brake. So let's just let it cool down. It's doing something like heat soaking just means it's as warm as it's going to get. If we just kept doing that, it's not having the opportunity to cool. So we will let it cool. Take this is in like you're doing something wrong. It's literally an old ass Ferrari. And it's really not that warm. It's only about like 200 degrees water temperature and the oil's maybe like 210, which is fine. But it's just that we're sitting there long enough. I thought, let's do that. Plus it'll give you an opportunity to relax. You know what I mean? Things where oftentimes 
you know, you need to be set up for success where you have the least amount of variables you have to worry about. So you can concentrate on the basics and get the basics down. And then, um, you know, you, you come back to it and you think about it. You, you go home and you sleep on it and the next day you're like, wait a minute. And it may seem daunting the next day, but I don't know what it is about sleeping on stuff. I always come back so much better. You know, and I can think of times with race cars where maybe the first day it was like, oh my gosh, what's going on? It's overwhelming or whatever. Not overwhelming, but like, yeah. you just don't have your stuff to get it. You sleep on it, come back the next day, bam, you're immediately faster. So it uh, came down a little bit, so it's like 190, that's fine. Well, temperatures came down a little bit. And honestly, it was doing fine, but it only has one kind of anemic cooling fan on the front radiator, so I just wanted to make sure we were, uh, it wasn't going to do something silly. Because sometimes with old cars, when it starts getting to a certain water temperature, it gets to that tip-off point where it just, it'll overheat or go too far. And I just wanted to make sure it wouldn't do that because I, uh, I don't really drive this thing in stop and go traffic, I, so I just wanted to make sure that it would be uh, okay. I wonder if that cop thinks I was revving the engine him on purpose. I was just downshifting. Yeah, it's Because there's no need to brake. 
Like if we're going this slow and I need to stop, I just push in the clutch and then brake. And then brake. And honestly, if I was doing this and I wasn't explaining it, I kind of do it at the same time. And if I want to stop there, I'd just be like this. You know what I mean? Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, I know what you mean. Now, I think you got rowing practice relatively soon, so this might be our last one for today. Okay. But that's okay. So, you're going to do fine. Now, what I'd like you to do, though, is relax, okay? Mm -hmm. You are doing great. Um, but I think you discovered that you're you're becoming quicker. Mm -hmm. Trying to do it quick. Okay. And you can't just whip it out quick, you know what I mean? So, so take a step back. And... Yeah, just take a step back. I mean, the car is really super forgiving. But you need to be slower letting the clutch out until you feel it engage. And when it starts to engage, just kind of chill right there, hang out right there. Mm -hmm. And as it's moving, then you can let it out more. You're, you're getting kind of, you're getting really quick. You know okay. what I mean? Let's keep it deliberate so you know what's up. And I want, I want you to a little more confidently drive around. You can accelerate. You can have the RPMs up while we're moving in first gear. Okay. But then I want you to pick a thing to stop, not near pointing at light posts or curbs when your left foot becomes non-intelligent. <laughs> Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. And you'll be fine, right? And you can kind of hover there more. And then you're going to get the clutch in all the way. And then you're going to brake and stop at the point you want. And we need to accomplish that on your own a couple of times before we move on to the next thing. Does that sound fine? Sounds good. Okay. So look at the car and see what status it's in and what you need to do to fire this thing up and go. Okay. Clutch. Where's the gear? Oh, it's not first neutral. Gear. Which is fine. You can leave it in first gear, but you can't just go whipping the clutch out thinking it's a neutral when it's not. Yep. Does that make sense? Also, the parking brake's on. There you go. Okay. Okay. Clutch is in. You pick gear. Okay, now you're you're here. So, mm -hmm. what are you gonna do? Okay. Take my foot off the brake. And then gently take my foot off the clutch yeah, you're gonna as, I'm, as I'm also gently giving it a little gas. Well, you're going to bring your gas pedal about 2,000 RPMs, just kind of hold it there. Okay, so. Okay. That's fine. Now, gently start coming off the clutch while holding your right foot in. That's pretty oh, quick. Sorry. Yeah. That's okay. We did it. Do you, and do you feel about the place in the travel of the clutch pedal where it starts to engage and do its thing? Maybe. Does but that make sense what I'm talking about? Yeah. Because there's I know a place where mean, the but... pedal's doing nothing, then there's that spot where it starts to do things. Mm -hmm. Okay. You'll sleep on it and make more sense. Yeah. Okay, you're going to pick your spot to stop at? Yeah, I'll go. Anywhere you want. You don't have to be that crazy about it. Just... I'll go to the red dot, but I'll go from this angle. That's fine. <laughs> the red dot pretend it's like a parking stop okay so stop, like in, right in, or stop in front of it yeah okay all right okay so. a little more chill you're getting less there you go that's pretty good that's pretty good you initially were not being chill and i was like easy tax no okay i know i sound like a weird boomer it's just that's what happens now you're fine you're not my kid <laughs> i would like go upside your head if you're my kid no i wouldn't actually my kid's cool <laughs> it's always funny thing. Come on, dads, comment below. I'm hilarious. <laughs> okay, you see the red spot, right? Yep. Don't hit it. You know why it's a red spot? Because the last driving instructor was standing there, and the guy driving clutch ran him over. It's not I mean, bad. I'm pretty far in front. Yeah, you're about six feet away. That's okay. Now here's a really crazy idea. Let's see if you can just creep up without going and then push the clutch in again. You don't even need gas. Take your foot off the brake. Just bring the clutch pedal to where it's just engaging a little bit and you're not gonna let it out all the way. You're just gonna get it to where the car moves forward a little bit and then push it in again and then brake. Did you do that or gravity do that? I think. Let off the brake. Now gently let the clutch out till, only until where it starts to slip and then hold it there. A little more. Right there. You feel engaged? Now push the clutch and brake. Brake, brake. Yeah, see? Does that make sense? Is that cool? Yeah. 
So I think I, th I think I see the point at which the clutch. Yeah. I think I see it a little more. Here. Okay, so let's pull away and then come back and stop at the same place. Okay. But be chill with your foot. Not bad. Also, when you're working the steering wheel, try not to get your hands right next to each other because when they're next to each other, they have no power. If yeah. you're like this, you can grab and you can kind of go more, like this. More leverage. You know what I mean? Yeah. But more leverage. Does that make sense? Yep. That's what I meant by kind of like mana. If you're doing something that looks kind of dainty and wussy, <laughs> that's because it is. Don't do that. <laughs> Not bad. Okay. Right. Okay. I think we might want to try a gear change next. So get going and just be driving around first, okay? Okay. Here we go. Too fast in the clutch middle. Yeah. And what happens is as you start to go, you actually let off the gas while you're engaging the clutch like that, and that's why the car starts to buck and do bad things. Yeah. Because you're 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 wanting to make something happen without controlling it. Does that make sense? I think, yeah. It's kind of a weird, like, give up, please work sort of thing. Yeah. And don't feel bad, everybody does it. All right, so what I need you to do is just keep circling around here away from stuff. And we're going to get into second here, okay? Now, I need you to drive while thinking. You can do that because you know, it's not that hard right now, right? Yeah. But what I want you to do, actually, one other thing before we stop that. At some point, I'm just going to yell stop, and I want you to stop then. Okay. Controlled with pushing in the clutch. Does that make sense? Yep. But now you're assuming it. Move your foot over. Okay. I want this to be more difficult. Right now. <laughs> Stop. Oh, you did a good job. Okay, let's keep going again. Okay. Okay, now this time I want you to hold the gas pedal and let it out, chill, and hold it where it starts to slip. Hold it right there. Hold it right there. No. Okay, that worked out okay. I feel like as I bring the clutch back, like my, like should I almost give a little more pressure on the yes. gas as I'm going? But yes, but only when it starts to engage and go. Okay. Because if you do it too soon, it'll rev up and you'll be slipping right. the clutch. I think that's what I've, I've been doing. Does wrong. that make sense? Yeah, yeah. I was trying to keep it real elementary for you while you're getting going, but we can we can try that again. You know. Stop. Good. Okay. Now take a minute to breathe. Don't get ahead of yourself. Okay. But let's go again. All right. So, um, More than you need. Yeah. Relax, relax. Works. Yeah. That's yeah, okay. That's right. Okay, so what we need to do is kind of let it cool down a little bit. Okay. So... try going in a second gear so you're, you're just gonna be doing a big circle around here I'm not gonna have you stop or anything all right but what you're gonna do is with the car still going you're gonna push the clutch in all the way and let off the gas because if you keep your foot on the gas it's gonna rev up so at the okay. same time I want you to push the clutch in all the way and let off the gas and let the car keep coasting you're still driving mm -hmm. and then what you're gonna do is with the clutch in you're gonna move the stick shift forward and over in the second gear and put it in and then when it's in it's kind of the same thing as when you go from a stop, but you're already moving. You don't need to give it a lot of gas, just a little bit while letting the clutch out. Does that make sense? I think so. So, so let off off the gas, put in the clutch. Same time, same time. Yeah. 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 Up, across. Um, yeah, you know where second gear is like up here. Yeah. It's like forwards, a little over, and forwards. Middle, middle right? top. Yeah. You need to be real chill about it. You just, okay. okay. And then, and you still get the clutch in, and your foot off the gas. And then when it's in gear, then you can, you know, give it back into a tiny amount of gas while letting the clutch out a little quicker, but still kind of chill. Does okay. that make sense? Yeah, I think I know what you mean. Let's give it a try, but don't become a lizard and forget you're still steering the car. Yeah, okay. okay. And you can still take your foot and put on the brake if need be for some reason. Mm -hmm. Okay, but you'll want to go a little bit faster because if we do this slow or whatever, but okay. probably in this area is a good place to do it. Yeah, I'll do one more like loop around and then that's fine. coming back this way I'll do it. Yeah, that's fine. After you crest the hill, so you got a little room, right? Yep. And remember, you're just gonna you're gonna keep moving. You just push in the clutch and let off the gas. With the clutch in, you go to second gear and then count it back. Right. So let's do a delivery. Go for it. Jump. There you go, push the clutch all the way. That's second right there, push forward. Awesome. Now 
off a nice wide circle while you're doing this. Feels the gas feels like a little lighter almost. Mm -hmm. Less touchy in a way. Yeah. And then I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna let me drive around the block end to cool it off. Okay. So pull it. Yeah. Go ahead and come to a control stop. Just yeah, okay. Just don't hand it. Yeah. Same thing as before. You'll have to push in the clutch and brake. Remember. So get your okay. left foot up where the brake is. Great. Push in the clutch. Off the gas. Brake. Pull it in neutral. Awesome. Go ahead and pull the parking brake. And let's switch. And I'll pull it down and we'll talk about it. So I hope that didn't take away from your experience. No. With it being no, I still thought. Like, no, I thought it was, it was cool. Breaking all the rules, the inside story of the new space race was really good. I hugely enjoyed it. And the reason being is, frankly, Jim and his life is no different than basically all of my students at Genius Garage. And I think a lot of you car guys are going to relate. So how did he go from nothing to where he's at? How did the collapse of the Soviet Union come into play? Governments and even a young Jim urinating on the Russian embassy. It's a lot of fun. Uh, but I think what you'll get out of it the most is just enjoying and seeing how life's journey can take you from nowhere to somewhere. So I hope you enjoyed the bet with Jim and everything to come. I think there's going to be some more fun things. And uh, I'm going to have some fun with these commercials since I lost the bet. But check out Breaking All the Rules. It's really easy to find. Jim Cantrell. Go to his website and the availability. If you found this video, I'm pretty sure you can find out how to buy his book.